Hello and welcome to today's video. I have here is the Daisy F16 Powerline Slingshot. Sugar Pandle, Black Salt Steel Flame, Latex Rubber Tubing, Shoots All Top, Steel or Glass Slingshot Ammo, Red Warning on Black, blah blah blah, be careful and shoot, it's a Daisy, shoot safely, what are you doing? And on the back it shows you how not to shoot it, but how to shoot it. There you go, just in case you for some reason did not know how to use a slingshot. I tell you, just for the more special people in the daisy life. Now, the question, is it worth your money? I've had daisy slingshots before. Uh, this is a newer version they came out with. The ones I've had before, 50% um, of them, the tubing, after shooting something, would very quickly deteriorate. Very fast. Very, very fast. And... It's not that it's low quality tubing as much as it's just, it's hard to explain. Like, holes will appear, especially around the um, areas right here and right here, on top of the um, spokes, or whatever you'd call it. I'm going to call it that, it's probably not the right name, but whatever, you get what I'm saying. On the top of your, um, the two bars here on the slingshot, I'm sure there might be a name for them, but that's what I'm calling them today. I can't think of what the name actually is, but on top of those, right where it creases right there, I'm about to take it out here in a second, but <coughs> where it creases right here is where you're going to get the most wear and tear on your slingshot, any kind of slingshot, unless you have a really, really nice tubing. Uh, George Sprave, he goes over this in some of his videos, and he's, he's a slingshot guy. I'm just making a review of a slingshot, but anyway, look, look him up on YouTube. He's a pretty cool guy. Pretty cool dude. That's all he does is slingshot stuff. Really nice videos. But anyway, this slingshot, is it any better? Oh, we're about to find out. So first, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get this open. So using, if I can find it. Using... My Bowie knife. Now we are going to just simply cut into the box. We're now going to rip it apart. And here we go. Um, first impressions on it. This is plastic, which I guess I kind of expected it to be. It's very lightweight, which could be a good thing, but it could also be uh, not a good thing. Why I say that is... It's lightweight in the sense that the whole... This is really light, but... There's not enough weight in the bottom of it right here. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go outside, I'm going to test it, and see if it's any, if it's any count. Alright, here we go. Let me show you its features. Sorry, George. Feels like it could be. And I do have steel balls and stuff, of course, but <clears throat> I'm going to test it with just a rock from outside. And we're going to see if it's any good. So we're going to put the rock in the sling. And let me find a target. Uh, 
Like, let's see here. Uh, that blue cooler. Now remember, this slingshot is like four bucks, so it's not the most. It ain't gonna be the most uh, well-made thing, but it's a daisy. Daisy, it's well-made for a daisy, by God. So let's see it again, and that was a little big. Let's try another thing, ammo. So far, it's decent. It's a decent little slingshot. From what I see, I mean, it shoots. It does what a slingshot's supposed to do. I remember my first slingshot, I made it myself out of wood. Boom. Damn. Yeah, so you can hit stuff with it. It's not the, it's, it's pretty decent. I like it. I mean, it's just a little bitty fun slingshot that's, I mean, it's, it can easily be used. And the Tobin, surprisingly, is not already wearing down on me. Feels really good. So, I give this slingshot a thumbs up. It gets the international sign of a good, decent little slingshot. I mean, it's not high quality. It's not perfect, but it gets the job done. So, as far as I'm concerned, Detro... Signing off on the slingshot, it gets the job done.